Septuagint Safe due to Unix access rights flags that allow users to run an executable with the permissions of the executable's owner or group respectively and to change behavior in directories. They are often used to allow users on a computer system to run programs with temporarily elevated privileges in order to perform a specific task. While the assumed user or group it privileges provided are not always elevated, at a minimum they are specific. Septuid and Satjid are needed for tasks that require higher privileges than those which common users have, such as changing their login password. Some of the tasks that require elevated privileges may not immediately be obvious, though a euro such as the ping command, which must send and listen for control packets on a network interface. Septuid on executables, when an executable file has been given the Septuid attribute, Normal users on the system who have permission to execute this file gain the privileges of the user who owns the file within the created process. When root privileges have been gained within the process, the application can then perform tasks on the system that regular users normally would be restricted from doing. The invoking user will be prohibited by the system from altering the new process in any way, such as by using PTRACE, LD library path or sending signals to it. While the Septuid feature is very useful in many cases, its improper use can pose a security risk if the Septuid attributes is assigned to executable programs that are not carefully designed. Due to potential security issues, many operating systems ignore the Septuid attribute when applied to executable shell scripts. The Septuid attribute will allow for changing the group-based privileges within a process, like the Septuid flag does for user-based privileges. The presence of Setuid executables explains why the triad system call is not available to non-root users on Unix. See limitations of triad for more details. The Setuid and Setuid bits are normally set with the command chmod by setting the high order octal digit to 4 or 2. Chmod 6711 file will set both the Setuid and Setuid bits, make the file read executable for the owner, and executable by the group and others. When a user other than the owner executes the file, the process will run with user and group permissions set upon it by its owner. For example, if the file is owned by user root and group wheel, it will run as root, wheel no matter who executes the file. Most implementations of the chmod command also support finer grained, symbolic arguments to set these bits. This is shown in the demonstration below as the chmodug plus s, setuid and setuid on directories, the Setuid and Setuid flags, when set on a directory, have an entirely different meaning. Setting the Setuid permission on a directory causes new files and subdirectories created within it to inherit its group ID, rather than the primary group ID of the user who created the file. Newly created subdirectories inherit the Setuid bit. Thus, this enables a shared workspace for a group without the inconvenience of requiring group members to explicitly change their current group before creating new files or directories. Note that setting the Satjid permission on a directory only affects the group ID of new files and subdirectories created after the Satjid bit is set, and is not applied to existing entities. Setting the Satjid bit on existing subdirectories must be done manually, with a command such as the following root at foo find to directory type dxhmod g plus s backslash. The Setuid permission set on a directory is ignored on Unix and Linux systems. FreeBSD can be configured to interpret it analogously to Satuid, namely, to force all files and subdirectories to be owned by the top directory owner. On systems derived from BSD, directories behave as if their Satuid bit was always set, regardless of its actual value. As is stated in open, 2, when a new file is created it is given the group of the directory which contains it. Security, developers should design and implement programs that use this bit on executables carefully in order to avoid security vulnerabilities including buffer overruns and path injection. Successful buffer overrun attacks on vulnerable applications allow the attacker to execute arbitrary code under the rights of the process exploited. In the event that a vulnerable process uses the Setuid bit to run as root, the code will execute with root privileges, in effect giving the attacker root access to the system on which the vulnerable process is running. Of particular importance in the case of a Setuid process is the environment of the process. 
if the environment is not properly sanitized by a privileged process, its behavior can be changed by the unprivileged process that started it. For example, GNULIBC was at one point vulnerable to an exploit using SETUID and an environment variable that allowed executing code from untrusted shared libraries. History The SETUID bit was invented by Dennis Ritchie. His employer, then Bell Telephone Laboratories, applied for a patent in 1972. The patent was granted in 1979 as patent number US 4135240 a protection of data file contents. The patent was later placed in the public domain. See also, sticky bit, user identifier, umask, group identifier, process identifier, chmod, sudo, confused deputy problem, policy kit, Unix security, file system permissions, privilege revocation, privilege separation, environment variable, references. External links, Chen, Hao, Wagner, David, and Dean, Drew. Satuid Demystified, Zafria, Dan. Da Silva, Dilma, and Wagner, David. The Murky Issue of Changing Process Identity, Revising Satuid Demystified, Pollock, Wayne. Unix file and directory permissions and modes.